a man picks up a knife, you know for certain that he's trying to cause critical damage to you. And in fact, there are targets in your body where if you're cut, you'll have less than a minute or two minutes to, to live or to apply critical first aid measures. Okay, and in fact, there are some areas where if you're cut, maybe you can't be saved. So the man who's using the knife really intends to do critical damage to you. You gotta understand that. If I pick up a knife, am I thinking of punching you? The answer is no. If I pick up the knife, am I thinking of doing a kick fight with you? The answer is no. When the man has the knife, that is his point of focus. It is about 80% probable or 90% probable that whatever attack is coming, is going to be coming with the knife. So you have to understand that when you fight the man with the knife, what do you fight? The knife. And you fight the knife. You fight the knife, and then in addition to fighting the knife, you fight the man. Okay, I'm going to show you some fallacies that have to do with knife fighting. Say he's coming over the top. Okay, a lot of guys will teach you to do high blocks. But the guy's accelerating with force through this, you see, it's not going to work. Okay, it's just not going to work. Uh, say you're doing a step, or just do a slash from the outside. A lot of guys will teach you to fight with the knife in this kind of a position. See, this isn't going to work either, because he can close on me or lock onto me, still cut, or he can pull me back and in. Grab my shoulder. He can still cut on me, okay? That's not what... I mean, those are, those are techniques that you might do if you have no other choices available, but they're not the best techniques to use. Okay, if he comes in uh, straight in, Okay, if I'm wrestling with him in the knife, you never want to wrestle with the guy with the knife, okay? Because that's when his other weapons become available. But if you're just fighting the knife, he's got these other weapons that you're dealing with. And then he uses the knife. Now, there are many kinds of knife fighters, and I'm just going to make a quick point about those. There's the guy who wants just to cut you, and we're fighting, okay? And, and he's just he's lashing away at you, just whittling away for about two or three minutes so you're bleeding so profusely in so many locations that you're becoming weak and disabled. Then he goes in for the kill. Then there's the knife fighter who has no intention except to deliver a fatal strike with each move. So we're fighting, just forcing it in all the time, never stopping, never giving up. Okay, what we're going to talk about today is just an introduction to knife defenses, outward in slash. Notice how I meet it, and I'm always away from the knife. See where the knife is at there. I'm away from it. I'm never where the knife is between both of us. I'm never here. He comes in. I'm always where the knife is not. I'm never where the knife is at. He comes in. See, you can't get me with that. If he comes back with it, yeah, just at the extension of his power. Okay, coming in with the knife. Notice my position. Self-defense distance. Standing up. Normal self-defense distance with the knife. Okay, he comes in with an attack. The outside in. See, the attack is, he has to really extend just to get me because I protected my self-defense distance. Really coming to get me now, back there. That's the best te technique that you can use against a knife. It's the tiger. In and around. Again. In. Beat him. Swing down and around. Goes in. Down. And around. When you apply power, you'll actually take him down. Now. Variations. Down. Tiger. Watch. Okay. One more time, comes in with the knife. Tiger is behind. And he's going to go down onto his knife. Yes, the ground's wet. He comes okay. in. Tiger. In. Takes out the knee and the knife. And we're working from outside the opponent now. He comes in. Now he tries to resist me here. Let's see what's going to happen. 
but I'm already outside of him. He's too busy falling to be concerned about the knife. Now, there are other things that we do. If he comes uh, from the other side, reverse hand grip. First move, meet the knife. Second move, over the top and down. Coming from outside in, he attacks. Meet the knife, over the top, down. Outside in. Meet. Now an arm bar is not always the best move to use against the knife. It's a sacrifice move and you'll see why. As you do the arm bar, you see you're bringing the knife back to where you're at. And an arm bar is not a victory technique, okay? It's not a technique that will end the fight. You gotta execute it as hard as you can, take the person down, and then maybe get the knife pulling out the heel. I check it. Check it. Elbow. Then arm bar. Combining techniques. Then arm off. Keeping ahead of the attacker. You should try applying those in succession, just to work on those as variations in conjunction one with the other. He attacks. I meet. Then wrist lock. Now watch the knife. <laughs> okay. I'm glad I said watch the knife before I did that, otherwise you would have <laughs> thought I was faking that. Just so you can have some fun, I want you to see this. He comes in, the eagle lands, the bent wrist lock. Okay, he has to let go of it. Over the top. Actually, let's go straight up the middle. Come straight up the middle. I extend him, stick the point of the knife into the ground, and over he goes. That's actually a throw. You can't follow that. Watch, this is called grounding the knife. Did you do the attack, sir? In. Grounding the knife. I want you to observe something here. All my targets are out of the way. See, when he comes in, even if he comes in hard, he's not going to hit anything. They're all out of the way. This is the eagle. See, the eagle comes in. See, look at, look at the wedge I've got. I've got this enormous wedge protecting all my targets. Do you see it? He comes in one more time. Watch how the eagle lands. See, the eagle comes down just like an eagle. When he hits, just for, push hard. That forces my hand to close. And all I do is accelerate him as he's coming in, take him down. Okay, that's a real, real nice technique. But all, that's just using his own force again. He comes straight in. Remember, just like with a stick, I can go to either side same technique that we did before. Coming in, straight in once more. Coming in, either side, same deal. Same techniques that we did before. If I want to do something radical, comes in, one, two, comes in, one, two. Radical techniques, that's the crane, the animal of the crane comes in. I'll show you that one more time. Crane's wing, crane around. Over the top.